The beauty of NFTs is that there's more incentive alignment here, meaning that let's say you buy a course for $1,000 or so, maybe you can sell it. If it's an NFT, you can actually sell it um, afterwards and it can actually appreciate too, because the whole idea here is that if people really like your product and if people really like the community that you've put together, maybe tied to the product, then that product is going to appreciate. In this video, I am going to talk about why all marketers will eventually use NFTs in their playbook. So my name is Eric Su, creator of Leveling Up Heroes, here to help level up the world. And let's just get into it. So the quote I always come back to time and time again is from famed investor Charlie Munger. And he's always said, show me the incentive and I'll show you the outcome. So human beings were all driven by incentives, right? A, like how much are you going to pay me? Well, what if I'm performing? I want some type of bonus, or maybe if I'm going to co-found a company with you and spend years of my life doing it, maybe I get some equity. So it's always been about incentives and that's how you get people to actually do things, right? What is the actual incentive? And so show me the incentive and I'll show you the outcome. Now, previously, when you would, let's say you launch a course, for example, let's say you launch an education program or, or a product. What happens afterwards is, let's say you buy the course, let, you're the customer, you buy the course, you maybe spend a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, twenty thousand dollars, who knows what it is, right? Um, but afterwards, that money is gone. And like, you would hope that you've taken that knowledge and you start to take action on it. But that course becomes basically, um, you know, useless, right? You, you've used it already. So the beauty of NFTs is that there's more incentive alignment here, meaning that let's say you buy a course for a thousand dollars or so, maybe you can sell it afterwards and it can actually appreciate too, because the whole idea here is that if people really like your product and if people really like the community that you've put together, maybe tied to the product, then that product is going to appreciate because it, it's scarce and more and more people want it, right? Um, and so there's a lot of dynamics at play here, but my point is um, that's one example of incentives being more aligned, right? Like the creator and also the customer, uh, they are, their incentives are more aligned. Like the customer is like, they're more incentivized to actually talk about the product more and then actually give more helpful feedback because they're actually part of the actual project, right? And if, if they do decide to sell it again, they can, they can reap the rewards of that in the future. And then the benefit of the creator too, is that they're incentivized to continue to deliver value because they're going to continue to get resales on this as well. Right? So it's very early days right now, but when you think about just incentives alone, well, incentives are powerful, right? So that's why I believe that a lot of marketers are going to be using NFTs because it creates more alignment. And when you have an entire community that will rally around you, that's one of the best forms of marketing that you can have instead of just paying the ad platforms and then, you know, renting their, their traffic, right? Because once you start turning that traffic off, the fire hose comes off, then you're in trouble, right? And the ad costs are getting more expensive and a lot of privacy laws and all that. So we got to think about as marketers, how we can get better overall at marketing and adding NFTs to our toolbox, our repertoire, that's going to be super helpful for the long term. It's, it's best to understand how this works by building something so you can have the scar tissue and um, you're going to have a leg up on the competition. It's still, you know, I was talking with a Cameo CEO the other day and using a baseball comparison, we're not even the first inning right now. Like it's still early days right now. We're, we're just kind of messing around with this world of NFTs, right? So if you can jump on this stuff, get a strong understanding around it, then you're going to be in a good spot. And I just want to give you a couple of examples too. Now, before I do, uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the like and the subscribe button because it helps us grow. All right. So the first example here is VCon. So Gary V is a well-known marketer, entrepreneur, and he's built a lot of different things. And I think what he's done is impressive with his with his NFT project called VFriends. And what VFriends includes is a conference, right? It includes a conference. At the very least, it includes a conference for the next three years or so. And you know, these are all these were all originally hand drawn by him and his plans to kind of make his own version of, of Disney. And so he's incentivized to continue to work on this because his reputation is on the line. I, I think they've done over a hundred million dollars in, in transaction volume on, on this on this NFT. And so he he better put his best foot forward here. And also with his conference, I can tell you that his con his first conference is happening in the next uh, you know couple months or so. And the the, the level of talent that's going to be there, you have kind of the CEO of Time, right? They've got their own NFT project. The Demilios, right? You know, kind of famous for their TikToks. Jake or Logan Paul, maybe both of them are going to be there too. So you have a lot of different influential people that will be there. Um, and so, you know, he's done a good job with that. Like a, like he he's proven that he can deliver on his roadmap. 
um, with the conference, and then also I can see with his version, his second version of, of, of VFriends, like you can see the art that's coming out, and it looks a lot, it looks like, you know, you have a lot of people that have experience being added to the team, and stuff is looking really good, right? So incentives are aligned there, because the more I talk about it, and I'm, I'm holding it, I'm holding it for long term, because I believe in him for long term, right? So I kind of feel like I'm, I'm in this together with him, and, um, you know, again, he has to deliver, or else he's going to look like a fool, because a lot of these projects, they're, they're um, 99% of the NFT projects out there, they're just designed to be cash grabs, right? But the ones that are going to build things for long term, like I'm talking to you as marketers from maybe you have a cool brand, you want to build something for long term, then you can really stand out from the 99% the of the other people just by delivering, right? And th that's all it takes. Um, a second example I want to use is from a guy named Brett Malinowski, and um, did a podcast interview with him. And he was just talking about how like, um, I just gave you the example earlier from education products, like, like courses, um, for people to be able to resell those courses later and you, and you as a creator, you get kind of, um, you know, uh, royalties from them. That's pretty cool, right? So um, Gary V coming back to him again, he did about, um, I think he sold like over a million dollars in pre-sales using his new book as an NFT. And um, again, you just see the, like his perspective now is why would I continue to work with publishers when I have all the power, um, I have the audience myself, why don't I just do that? And, and like. And then I have, and then I can develop the the power of the community, right? People talk about Web One, Web Two, Web Three, and so Web One is being able to read, right, from a programming uh, standpoint. So you can read, right, read only. Just think of it that way. Web Two is you're able to write, you're able to, you're able to kind of create on these what, these large Web Two platforms like a like a Facebook, for example, right? Now Web Three is where you get to where you get to own, and that that's the really exciting piece. Again, incentives are aligned here. Now. The other example I'll give you is with our Leveling Up Heroes Epic program. So that includes a mastermind. So there's three masterminds a year, right, with really amazing people. And um, the other thing is when you have amazing people get together, amazing people tend to share deal flow, right? So, you know, it's, it's a mastermind and then there's us, there's, there's people that are sharing deal flow. So you get to invest in kind of, you know, the most amazing companies out there. And I get deal flow from my podcast. I get deal flows from speaking, from the events that I throw as well being able to share that deal flow so i'm trying to i'm trying to share that deal flow out there as well right so um that's gonna be really exciting for the long term so again very early innings right now and um this is why i think all marketers should use nfts in their playbook you see a lot of big brands out there like the heinekens the nikes of the world the under armors of the world gucci's getting involved as well that's more of a branding play for them so still they're, they're using it in, in their in their playbook too um and so you know for the majority of us listening to this for whether you're a small or medium-sized business it just makes a lot of sense still right and even if you're a big brand um there's just a, there's so many ways to play this um and you know i encourage you to think about nfts as more of a like when you buy a house what are you actually buying you're buying the deed right you're buying a signature you're buying a piece of paper right now with nfts that's something that's harder to argue against because let's say if you buy a home and then your neighbors move next to you and then they decide that um, they're not going to follow the law and they're just going to you know take over your place then they take over your place your 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 signature your deed means nothing but a record on the blockchain um, nobody can ever really argue with that right so let me know what you think in the comments and if you agree disagree if you think i missed anything and with that being said you can check out the next piece of content over here as well and we'll catch you later you know a lot of people see the success stories of someone who just starts a youtube channel and blows up right away uh i was definitely not that it took me from zero to 100K subscribers. It took me four years in total with two different channels, like trying out two different channels until it really took off.